hey guys. guys welcome back to our channel plots with a twist where we discuss books amongst other things and we got a little quickie oh that's not me <laughs> a little quickie for you mm -hmm. um we've been seeing like the video people talking about the book talk books whether it's worth the hype or not and so we thought we've read you know some book talk books mm -hmm. Um, so we thought we'd give our thoughts whether some were worth the hype or not. So let's get into it. Okay. Right, so what's so the some of these y'all heard us talk about multiple times, but it, they're popular. So um, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. So I think it's worth the hype. What's it ends with us? Mm -hmm. I read that one. Or it, starts, mm -hmm. it starts with us is the other one. Mm -hmm. Um... Ooh. Y'all, we, we ain't did red wine in a while. I don't know, it's a little strong. Uh, this camera name is giving cab. <laughs> it gives cab. Mm -hmm. But, um, it, I will say in the beginning it was worth the hype because I do remember being really into it. But I think hindsight is twenty twenty. So like when you look back and you read and you read, read books after that that are kind of like in the same vein, same genre, and then you realize like how toxic <laughs> it was, and just mm. I will say. Out of all her books that I've read, and I haven't read a lot, I'll say that one was worth. I'll say it's worth the hype. It's just, it's one of those, like, you get in, engulfed in the story or whatever. So, I'll say it's worth the hype. Yeah, I will agree. I'll say mm -hmm. it's worth the hype. It has a lot of things that people might like. Um, romance, some drama, um, you know someone a star i don't want to say star cross but uh, stuck between you know a choice of well, I'm spinning, two mm -hmm. men who want me yeah. um so yeah it has those those kind of surface things that you could really enjoy and keep the story interesting um of course like asia said like looking back it's kind of like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i think overall it's like the people that like it and why they like it i think that's valid so mm -hmm. Okay, The Silent Patient by Alex Michalides. No. Ooh, no, immediately no. Immediately no. And I feel like people still talk about that. They do. They like, it's ooh, still on it's so talk. good. Throw it away. Throw Alex Michalides away. I didn't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, it yeah. So cliche. <laughs> like, it, so <laughs> if you go back to our earlier videos, I think we did a book review. We did on a that. book review. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, so I don't think it's any secret that we did not enjoy it. Um, I can see why people enjoy it. So it's like I'm trying to be unbiased. I don't personally I why think it's worth the hype. Enjoy it, but how they hype it up? Yeah, it's, it's not. not like that. Yeah. yeah. So I I don't know. I think based on the elements they're just trying to be unbiased. I can see why it got the hype it did. The twist was interesting it just wasn't done right like the twist alone mm -hmm. was interesting but the lead up to the twist and the after the twist is kind of like mm -mm. like you was trying to fill in the gaps because you was like he was probably like oh i got this good twist mm -hmm. let me figure out how i can tell that story and mm -hmm. build the story around the twist so i don't know i thought it was yeah I, me trying to be unbiased, I can see why people like it, but personally, I, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's one we you Did you finish this? The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose, right? Isn't her last name Rose? Yeah, I did. The Lawyer? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I finished it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it was worth the hype. No, I don't think it's worth the hype. I don't think so. I think it was just so we've read way better thrillers that have like the same kind of you know husband wife type of I don't know did the husband do it? I'm trying to think of that other book I read where it was like did the husband kill his wife or not? Um, dang, I can't remember. That was better than that. And yeah, I just think it was it tried too hard for me. Mm -hmm. I think I'd agree. I think it's hyped because it's you know about to become some type of show or movie right now oh, so of course that gets is. attention um which i don't know like i feel like the show or movie whatever it is i don't know it could be successful mm -hmm. if it's done right i think if they fix some elements that were lacking in the story um the, the movie could offer that little spice up on the plot twist because mm -hmm. it was a decent plot twist it just 
didn't flow. Mm -hmm. It was the same thing. I think it was built up around the plot twist. Um, I Yeah, I don't think it's worth the hype. I think, um, personally, again, mm -hmm. but me stepping back, I can see why people enjoy it. Yeah. It has a lot of salaciousness. It has a lot of juiciness. It has a predicament that you would like like really want to invest in like is this woman gonna really help her husband mm -hmm. that cheated on her so yeah um personally though yeah not not it wasn't it wasn't given mm -hmm. okay let's see uh oh go let's go back to colleen hoover verity <laughs> so i don't know i feel like verity was like i don't think it was worth the hype I think that hmm, kind of like I almost said it was worth the hype because it was so like salacious. I feel like like mm -hmm. what happened in the story and like what was going on that it was kind of like oh my god. But it was also it's not something I guess like that's me being biased. It's not something that I feel like should be hyped. Like it's not a book that I think should be hyped. But I guess it was a little. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I have mixed feelings too. But I'm gonna lean towards worth the hype. Mm -hmm. Just because up until you got to the end, the story was there. Like, you definitely were interested in, like, what's going on in this house? What's going on with Verity? You know, what's going on with the other lady? I don't remember her name. Um, What's going on with the husband? And as the story unfolded, it was very interesting. You follow along. It was the ending that kind of, I don't want to say undid all the work, mm -hmm. but kind of like, it had one of those well you decide ending and it's like girl. depending on how you choose to look at the events yeah mm -mm. you can determine whether actions were just like i didn't that to me is like no let me know yeah what happened <laughs> right give me a definite so i think i want to lean towards worth the hype just because like i said the elements were there it's just personally again the the ending kind of ruined it for me mm -hmm. but people enjoyed that <laughs> Okay, Asia said she read this, so I think she lying. But y'all know I read it. The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Okay, did you what get enough? Yeah, I remember what it was about, The Strange Man. You think it's worth a hype? It was cute, it was a cute story. Yes, <laughs> y'all know my Of course she's gonna say yes. Yes, because I'm not even trying to be biased or anything like that, but it is a joy to read. And mm -hmm. I think, um, it was unexpected. It has a lot of elements you can enjoy. It's kind of fantasy, but it doesn't feel like fantasy. It's just a heartwarming story. And so, yeah, I think it was worth the hype. Especially, I've read some other TJ Klune books now, and they weren't as enjoyable. So, I definitely don't feel like I'm buying into the hype with the with this book. If it wasn't worth it, I would. I feel like I would say it. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. So, I think mm -hmm. definitely the attention that it's getting is worth it. Okay. Right, next. Okay, let's talk about some black talk book talk books. <laughs> whatever how you call it. Um Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. I think it was worth the hype. Yeah. I thought it was really cute. It was one of those that it took me a while to like read. Like it, it was like I had it for a while. Mm -hmm. And but it took me a while to get. And I was like, oh, this is actually really cute. And the characters were spicy, like they were smart, the writing was smart and funny and it was just a really cute book and whenever i see like um list on tiktok like black authors you should be reading stuff that book is always on there and i think yes it should be there yeah i agree it was just a well-rounded um romance so it wasn't just like super cheesy mm -hmm. you definitely had some different elements that were going on with the character but it was still cute mm -hmm. and you still really uh, was like filling all the feels with them so Yes, I think it's worth the hype. I too, like it took me a minute to get yeah, to it to too. So, to okay, one more black talk book. Mahame, Maham, my man, just by Jessica George. I think it was worth the hype. I think it was a good read. It wasn't something that I expected to be as good as it was. I should have said Queenie. I should have put Queenie on here. No, <laughs> the people are tired of your Queenie slander, by the way. Okay. I'm just playing. <laughs> and, but. Is Queenie becoming a movie? I think so. But they've been talking about it for a while, so I don't know. I mean, it's an actor strike, so ain't yeah. nothing getting it's made anytime it's soon. Actors and writers made. strike, yeah. Oh my. So, but yeah, I thought it was worth the hype. What about you? Me? 
Mahame, yes. Mahem. Maha. I'm trying to say it how she say it, but we 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 we're gonna mess it up. <laughs> um yes, I think it brought the humor, it brought the elements, and I'm only comparing it to Queenie because people do, and Queenie is also a black talk book talk book. Mm -hmm. Um and it brought a lot of the elements that Queenie was lacking for mm -hmm. me. But it was done so much, so much more successfully. Um, really handles important conversations without making it heavy. It was just a great, well balanced book. So I think it's definitely worth the hype. I've actually recommended it to people, and yeah. Okay, the Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Haig. I don't think it's worth the hype because I don't remember reading it. <laughs> I, I know I read it though because it's in my Goodreads. And I, I do remember reading it, but let me look at the synopsis. But um, it wasn't memorable to me. But I also have a bad memory sometimes. I would say. I think it was good though. Yeah, it's hard I to I gave it four stars. You liked the book. <laughs> we talked about it. Did we do a book review? I don't know. But um, I don't know. It's hard oh, yeah, to say. She pick a book and then she go into like different like yeah. expectations of her life. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> Not as cute. I said that before. But I liked it. I did like it, but it wasn't like, oh my Memorable, God. So yeah. worth the hype. Yeah. Um, I will say, yeah, same. I think it's worth it honestly but at the same time out of the books we saw on the list i was surprised to actually see it as a book talk mm -hmm. book because i'm like oh i didn't know other people enjoyed it as much as, much as we did yeah. Or, yeah or as much as like to make it like a viral book mm -hmm. so um yeah i think it should get hype but maybe it's just off my radar and why I don't see it, but I hadn't really seen it till I was like looking at the list. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was an enjoyable book. Again, just elements that um, were nice and, and, you know, whimsical and brought you into a different place. And then also, again, tackling an important conversation about, you know, mental health and things like that. So, but in a fully like different way. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let me see. So one, oh no, we got two more, two more. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Uh, That's your favorite. Yeah, I think it was worth the hype. I think it was really cute. I think out of all... I, I was going to be surprised if you I've didn't say it was worth three the of her books, um, but out of the three, I think that is my favorite. And then Book Lovers. Okay. No, I don't know. But it's yeah, I think fine. it's cute uh, as far as like <laughs> Emily Henry. And I feel like... She's one of those books like she's never gonna like disappoint you too much like but it's always gonna be kind of like the same story yeah. a little bit. Beach read for sure. I think it's worth the hype. Um, that was my introduction to her, mm. and I fell in love with her writing. Um, I can definitely see why people love her writing and her books. Um, it's I said this, I think I said this before, like it's sneaky literary. So it's like, she knows how to turn a phrase. She knows how to draw you in. Mm -hmm. And um, in Beach Read, I just found myself like lost in some of the, some of the writing. So I think it's definitely worth the hype. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy Beach Read. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, Cause it was like melodic in her, like it was really nice. Okay, last one. Okay, again, Asia read enough of this one to hopefully weigh in. What? <laughs> and I feel like y'all already know my answer once I say the book. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Girl. Miller. Yeah, I guess it was worth that. I think so. It's still, <laughs> again, a book that's still in circulation. Yeah. People are still talking still about it. it. And I want to say it came. Patient, so that's, not a good that's not a good indicator. Mm -hmm. Well, Song of Achilles was just a beautiful story. No, it was good when I did read. It was just a beautiful story. And it's Greek mythology. So it's like, has this historical element that's, you know, also mystical and magical. And, um, but it tells a really hearty love story. Um, and, and I don't want to say unexpected. I just didn't know that particular story. Mm -hmm. So it was unexpected to me. But yeah, I didn't know the story of Patroclus and um, Achilles, but it was told from Patroclus' perspective. So mm -hmm. really got a different, you know, viewpoint of everything. Um, I think it's definitely worth the hype. Yeah, I think it's worth the hype too. Uh, oh did God. we say everything? Yeah. Was, no, we didn't say. So yeah, 
But yeah, those are just our thoughts. I was like, did we say everything was worth the hype? But no, we didn't. No, some stuff wasn't. Um, those were just our thoughts. And like I said, just wanted to bring a quick little video for y'all before we go to happy mm -hmm. hour. Let us know if y'all agree. <laughs> if y'all think like, girl, no, it wasn't worth the hype. Or it definitely was. Y'all tripping. Or just let us know any other book talk books that you want to hear our opinions about. Or um, just any other content you want to see. Like this video. Subscribe. Ring the bell. And we'll be back next time. Bye.